Okay, this is going to be a screenshot for My Maps, uh, a Google product. So we'll open up a new tab here and type in My Maps. Uh, through your apps account, you'll be able to get to Google Maps as well, but this is uh, a different way to get there. I'm going to create a map. A lot of different uses for this in the classroom. Um, journeys, explorations. Um, we're going to be using this at a workshop uh, with Connecticut history. Uh, so a lot of different things, but I'm going to just do something very simple and basic for the purposes of this um, uh, screencast. First, uh, I would always go title it first. And we're going to put down pegs and my vacations. Uh, just a simple topic. Um, at first we're working with that overall so we're going to go and do one that we went to actually what I'm going to do right now instead of going that way is um, title this layer right here so we're going to do multiple layers we'll get into the reason why in just a bit but trip to the northwest this corner A lot of fun. We went from East Hartford. So we got East Hartford and we click on the drop down and it brings us right there. Now, what we'll do here is we'll add this to our map. It gives us that red pin. At this point, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to remove some of the uh, Google Maps information. It still keeps longitude, latitude down below. I go ahead and edit it by hitting the pen. One thing nice about the Google products is they try to keep things consistent and um, we left for Portland and Seattle in 1995 and we just save that spot on our map we flew into Portland so let's go ahead and put that up there Portland and it was Oregon and once again add to the map click on the red dot remove and then I come back and edit you can edit the title and you can edit down below rented a car and headed north at this point I'm just going to save that and next stop along the way let's get to Seattle now at this point all I'm doing is text typical from uh, a former English teacher so let's add that to the map click on the red a pin remove let's try to do some different things here so we got the edit and put Washington and this was in absolutely Oops. Beautiful city. Now at this point come some of the nice things leaf features that we can use as teachers and you know for your personal maps as well. Let's add an image. At this point, I can go ahead and search for a picture using a Google image search. I can go ahead and just uh, paste in a, a picture URL that I already have. I can do a video search and I can also paste in a YouTube URL that I already have. At this point I don't have anything so let's find a picture for Seattle. And I plug that in and I want to take a look and look around see what I have. I like the one with night because that's actually when we drove in. <clears throat> and at this point nice that's exactly what I want and let's go ahead and do another one with Seattle before we leave it. Um, Pikes Market, wonderful, vibrant place. And let's go ahead and search for there. Uh, that's what I remember right there. And we're going to save this. So what do we have so far? If we go ahead and click on East Hartford, that's when it's going to take us right there. Any information we want to leave. Um, then we want to go ahead and we want to go to Portland, rented a car and headed north. Everything looks fine. And then 
Seattle, Washington. Okay, now a couple other features that I like about this, and this is where you can be using it in the classroom, is you can add a layer. If you go back up over here, we're going to add a layer. And what that means now, it's going to let me go with a whole different track here. So if I go ahead and say, hey, let's take a look. I want to go ahead and do, um, let's title it first, and our trip to Orlando. And we save that. Now, same, same thing that we were doing before. This time we're leaving from Ellington. And I get the drop down with CT. Again, same things. Add it to the map. Click on the red. And remove this information. Again, I like putting down. Oops, I want to edit it first. And then CT. Headed to Disneyland, Disney World, in 2015. Uh, we save that. Now, one thing that I like to do at this point is, right here I've got the same colors and everything, so if I let this hover over here over the, the bucket, I can not only change the color of those, I can also change the shapes. And the reason why I want to do this at this point is so that I can now have two different layers, two different tracks. In the classroom, I might have a group working on this um, journey right there. I could have another group working on another journey or another aspect of the assignment. Let's go ahead and put down another one just so you can see how this works. Orlando, Florida, and we're going to add it to the map. And we're going to go ahead and do the things we've been doing. FL and um, just Disney World. And of course, with Disney World, we've got to add something here. So let's go ahead and put that new search in. And looks perfect and we select it and we save it now what we have oops you can see I put it in the wrong one here so what we're gonna do is we're it's gonna drag it down to here again I don't like that for the icon so we let it hover over top we click on it change that and change that and now you can see how we've got um, two different trips going last what I like to share on this webcast is going to be the share at this point, what I want to be able to do is, I, I can keep it private, but I love the collaboration aspect. So especially if I'm using the classroom, I'm going to go anyone with a link. And we're going to save that. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this and embed it either in my website, up on Google Classroom, or wherever I want them to go ahead and um, I'll be able to access it from. I hit done. And Pegs of my vacations are ready to go. Hope you enjoyed the screencast.